Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Living Life, A Life You. I am your host, Dr. Veronica Garcia, and today I'm joined by an awesome, amazing, also doctor of chiropractic, um, Dr. Lotem Shulky. Hi, welcome. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here. Um, Dr. Lotem, tell me a little bit about um, why chiropractic for you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> I always, since I was like literally two, mm -hmm. had a fascination with pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So my entire life, obviously following, I was not born into a chiropractic family. I didn't know what it was. And so following the mainstream, I always wanted to be an OBGYN. And I followed that path through high school all the way up. Um, I started seeing a chiropractor. Um, shout out to Dr. Drew Rubin, <laughs> um, who, who was my chiropractor when I was growing up. Um, so started seeing him when I was 12. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually did a project in high school shadowing him when, when the last question was, would you like to be a chiropractor? And I said, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I think it broke his heart a little bit. Um, redemption story there, yeah. but that's okay. Um, so um, then I went to college and I, I uh, majored in biology and with, on, on a pre-med track. I was still on my way to med school. And I think I had, I don't know where along the way, I had this just aha moment that um, I eventually wanted to have a family. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like 18, 19, right? But I was yeah. like, how does that work? Then I saw the malpractice insurance rates for OBGYNs and I was like, okay, maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. And I started thinking of other ways where I could be involved with the pregnancy community. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually reached out to my chiropractor who I had a very close relationship with because you see your chiropractor more than you see anybody else, yeah. any other provider, you know? And so um, he became like family to me. And I reached out and I said, what, what is interesting for me to learn about? I was actually taking a course um, in college and it was a women's health course. Mm -hmm. And we had one semester long research project that we had to do and present at the end of the semester. Mm -hmm. And I said, I said, what's interesting for me to, to research? Yeah. And so I, I researched chiropractic care's effect on infertility. Wow. And what I found was so astonishing and just blew me away. I mean, just honestly, completely blew me away that I was like, okay, that's what I want to do. Mm. And fast forward, you know, I, I, um, I finished my undergrad here at Life mm. and um, went to chiropractic school immediately after. And I uh, specialize in pediatrics and pregnancy, um, got my CACCP through the ICPA. Mm. And that's that's what led me into chiropractic, you know, wow. for the first time. That's a, that I, uh, such a great story. I love that. It calls to you and it continues calling to you. And even it's though we, we put in, no, I won't. Right. The universe was like, <laughs> yeah. jokes on you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you will find out. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit. You mentioned uh, two big abbreviations, one being um, ICPA and the mm -hmm. other one being CCAP. C C CACCP. CACCP. Yes. Tell me about both of them. Um, what does that stand for? The ICPA is the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association. Uh, they are incredible and amazing. Um, I took a 200-hour series mm -hmm. um, over, over the span of I think a year and a half or two years. Mm -hmm. uh, and that gave me those awesome letters after my name, which are CACCP. That means I am a certi certified by the American uh, American Council on Pediatrics. Basically, there's yeah. a C missing in there. But um, but that's that's the part one, what, what the ICPA refers to as part one of your diplomate. Mm. Um, there is a part two where you are a DACCP, which is the diplomate mm. of the same thing. So mm. yeah. now we're working towards that. You know, I was when I was in practice full, full time yeah. and then um, not so much anymore. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, always moving forward, yes. you know what I mean? And, and expanding Absolutely. knowledge. I think that's really important to stay up to date on everything. Absolutely. And staying, talking about staying up to date, yeah. you help um, in the clinic. Well, your role in the clinic mm -hmm. is to help us stay up to date. Uh, <laughs> that is the best. Thank you. <laughs> That's the best description of what I do. I feel like I am um, officially, the title is the director of quality assurance and quality improvement. Mm -hmm. And so what that means is that my job is basically to help Life University stay on top of things like accreditation, mm -hmm. um, so, so compliance with accrediting standards, federal standards, state standards, um, and making sure that we're always heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a big task. Um, I, I also like to 
put in there too that the bare minimum is is not my go-to, mm-hmm. right? Because there is the bare minimum. That's quality assurance, right? Yeah, yeah. But the quality improvement piece of my job is that we are continuously looking for ways to grow and adapt and become even better and mm-hmm. higher stakes and higher standards and and moving that up. That's awesome. Yeah. And and I think it's a it's a great um, role that allows us to kind of just hone back in and to just making sure that we are growing as an institution, but also as individuals and helping our students grow, which is even more important um, yeah. because it is it is a it is a challenging um, times out there, <laughs> but it's also very possible when you're seeing within your standards. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And, and the thing is that you know, the the standards change all the time. And so having someone who is in charge of all of that mm-hmm. um, makes it easier, you know, coming from full-time practice to now being at life since 2021, uh, I realized that it is really nice to have someone in your corner, yeah. you know, advocating for you and making sure that you're on the straight and narrow just as a doctor. So I hope that I serve in that capacity. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You absolutely do. <laughs> Um, uh, Dr. Lotem, what, tell me about you. I know that you recently started practice again. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about your practice. Yeah, I have just a teeny tiny, like little practice that I, I just started, um, recently that, um, I, because of my specialty, I only am seeing pregnant moms, babies, children, um, and, and that's it. So it's, it's pretty niche. Mm -hmm. Um, it is, uh, by appointment only, I have no set hours. It's, um, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm sitting inside of a pelvic floor PT's practice. So it's a super awesome. There's, we have a lactation consultant on staff and, um, it's really great because it's just this, you know, you, you build the community. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Yeah. So tell me, I think that's, that's such an important piece to bring in. Um, and whether teeny tiny, just very impactful, um, practice, it sounds like, but tell me a little bit about that, um, coherence and that interrelationship between a lactation consultant yeah. and a pelvic floor specialist or a PT therapist yeah. and a chiropractor. I honestly think that all of our people see all of us. Yeah. <laughs> so um it's a it's a one-stop shop place mm-hmm. for for starting off, you know, I hope that obviously people come see me preconception, right? That we can get their nervous system balanced and everything before they try to conceive. That would be ideal. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes it's when they're pregnant and there are issues, right? Mm-hmm. Back pain or, you know, um many, many different things that can happen during pregnancy. It's mm-hmm. quite uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Um uh, so uh, the, building the the community to help the mom feel supported, mm-hmm. um, both physically and and emotionally too. There's mm-hmm. an emotional component of it too. But mm-hmm. being a place where we can have everything that the mom might need all in one place mm-hmm. um, is is really important to me. And before I started this practice, I knew that if I were ever to go into practice again, that's the model that I would want. Um, just having been pregnant and been, I am a mom and I know the ease of access and, Mm -hmm. and, um, rather than going from place to place to place that to me, um, that constant referral, that knowing our boundaries, knowing what each of us does and how beautiful it can be when each works in our own space to serve that one person, they just, they feel that right. Everybody has their own you know, they fit in, uh, in their own place. Yeah. I love that. I, I love that. That is a, a place, sounds like a place of um, support and love and just being seen. Mm-hmm. Um, and thank you for just stepping into that role and stepping into that passion because yeah. it, it shows, it thank definitely you. shows. Yeah. I, I will say I, I love my position at life, but I was missing being that pediatric chiropractor, you know? Yeah. Um, and so it's just my way to, to serve, you know, because that my heart calls for that mm-hmm. in, in that way too. Uh, and so I feel, I feel pretty blessed that I'm able to do that. That's amazing. Yeah. So you've been in life for a few years, um, few. you know, <laughs> a few years. Um, you are originally from Georgia? Yes. Not originally. Okay. Yeah. I've Where been in Georgia since I was, I was 12. I was born in Israel. I lived there till I was six, okay. moved to Colorado when I was six, um, learned English for the first time there. So English is my second language. Mm-hmm. And, um, 
lived there till I was 12 and then moved to Georgia when I was 12. So awesome. I basically grew up in Georgia. But, you know, <laughs> but still not entirely. Really. <laughs> not entirely. Yeah. So um, at, at being then in Georgia and knowing the impact of the university over the past many years, because you've been in chiropractic since you were 12 mm -hmm. and with Dr. Drubin mm -hmm. as, as that person that leads you is such giant shoes yes. to, to fill yes. for any doctor. 100%. But um, you've seen the growth of the university in different aspects. Yeah. We are celebrating the 50th year. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about like what what have you seen so far of the university and the community and what do you hope to continue seeing it grow? This feels like home. Mm -hmm. You know, after so many years of being on this campus, I started coming here as a student, um, as an undergrad in 2011. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been here for a really long time and to see new facilities open and new things. I mean, the the way that life has planned for the future is really beautiful to watch it unfold, you yeah. know, that it actually comes to fruition. It's not just a plan. There's mm -hmm. actual action steps to make it happen. Um, so knowing how far we've come is really is really inspiring right mm -hmm. and and um that ultimately this place started as a chiropractic school and, right. and it's become s significantly more than that these mm -hmm. days you know but that the message of chiropractic in and of itself was so strong mm -hmm. that it could make that that big of an impact in mm -hmm. the community and, and now in the world. I mean, imagine how many people are being served by people who went here, right? Yeah. That it's just mind boggling to, to even comprehend. So the mission of chiropractic, I mean, in people's offices and clinics, right? But also as this university continues to grow and influence people and um, it's just, it's, it's astronomical. So it's pretty pretty cool to be a part of it mm -hmm. in so many different capacities, you know? I agree. Yeah. I, I love it so much. And, and and it is a place that I call home now as well. Mm -hmm. And and it's been home for 11 years. I can't believe that I'm saying that. Yeah. <laughs> 13 years, so <laughs> who's counting? Yeah. Um, but it, it is so much more than just um, lights of life in the in the winter. Right? It is so much more than just chiropractic. And I'm excited. I'm excited for all the lives that, will, that we continue to impact mm -hmm. through whether it is rugby or undergraduate or masters or DC or anywhere in between from our people over in security to um, our new veteran center. Right. Like, it's just... And it so keeps beautiful. getting bigger. More, keep more bigger. things keep happening. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's an ever evolving process, and I it's pretty, it. it's pretty awesome to be a part of it. I yeah. love it. Well, thank you for your hard work. Of thank course. you for keeping us in line. You know, <laughs> at clinic, chiropractic <laughs> police. <here. laughs> and very gentle. I'm so excited, so excited for your future and your practice, and just for you to continue showing up well, with your beautiful you. self and just spreading all that with us. Thank I appreciate you. Thanks you. for having me. Of course. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Living Life at Life You. Bye.